All right. <laughs> so, um, I'm already doing exactly what I'm trying my best not to do. Um, I just took the second trade for Project 21 for the documentation of Project 21. Um, and it's the same week. In fact, today is now Tuesday, September 24th, 2019. So the first trade that I took was yesterday. And what I'm trying my best, and I really am struggling with trying to not like even be on the chart at all. But anytime that I see that the market is presenting an opportunity at the time, it's very difficult for me to not take advantage of the opportunity. I, I will say that. So even I struggle with that. And I'm not struggling with over trading or doing too much. For me, the struggle is actually taking one trade for the entire week for this project and then not doing anything until the following week. That's very difficult for me to do. So let me just first and foremost, get that out the way. Um, so I am going to try my best to do that. Um, I think I literally, for me, I literally have to log out completely out of this account that I'm using for project 21. Um, so I think that what I'll probably be best off doing is just remaining, um, in my regular account and just taking my trades that way, because I'm just so used to documenting and, you know, recording and keeping track of when I do projects and challenges, it's, it's habitual for me. So I'm struggling with that a little bit, but I'm going to work it out because again, I want to show you guys what it looks like to really, really slow things down. So yes, I'm struggling with slowing it down, even myself. Um, but I'm going to commit to that because I want to do that for the sake of the people who are going to be watching this project, this video series. All right. So just off the bat, let me apologize. That's my bad. <laughs> I mean, I'm literally apologizing for making money and being profitable. If you actually listen to what I'm saying, but again, I want to slow it down for the purpose of those of you out there that are following along, you know, looking to actually train and get this skill, acquire this skill and know what to do with it and know how to slow things down so that ultimately you can really speed up the process of putting yourself in position because that's what is going to happen at the end you know, of the 21, uh, trade period. If, if you're averaging one trade a week, it ends up being 21 weeks, you know, so I'm looking to do that because I want to spread this out over time just to show you how to really slow things down and to put yourself, you know, in position where you're not stressed out when you're trading, you know, you can take your trade, be confident in scaling up the size of your contracts, be confident in pulling the trigger and taking the trade when the opportunity comes you know, being able to recognize the correct market environment, the right behavior that should be present when you take that trade. In other words, being able to recognize the right time to be in the market. OK, so that's what this is about. That's what I do. I do that in my trading and then that's what I'm teaching my students to do as well. All right. So in, in any case, um, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next trade. So this is actually trade number two. Although it's not the second week, it's still the first week. But like I said, I'm going to just release these videos anyway. So trade number one, um, I'm going to probably release tomorrow, which is Wednesday. Um, and then this video I'll release the following day, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I'm struggling with really, really slowing it down to one a week. Um, that's a little difficult for me because I'm so used to when I get on the charts, just taking advantage of the opportunity when it comes, you know, I'm very used to doing that. But in any case, I will see you guys on the next video, um, which will actually be trade number three. So this represents trade number two. 
This is Project 21. My name is Mark Fuller. This is Team Alliance. Stay tuned. I'll holler. Peace and love.